the 88 constellations. Andromeda. Antlia. Epis. Aquarius. Bort. Aquila. Era. Aries. Ariga. Booties. <laughs> Kayla. Camilla Pardalis. <sighs> Cancer. Canis Venetici. Canis Major. Canis Minor. Capricornus. Carina. Cassiopeia. Centaurus. <laughs> Cepheus. Cetus. Chameleon. Columbo. <gasps> Coma Berenices. Corona. Australis. Corona. Borealis. Corvus. Crater. <laughs> Crux. Cygnus. Delphinus. Dorado. Draco. Aquilius. Aridinus. Fornax. Gemini. Grass. Hercules. Horologium. Hydra! Hydras! Indus. Lacerta. Leo. Yeah. Leo Minor. Yeah. Lepus. Libra. Lupus. Lynx. Lyra. Mensa. Microscopium. Yeah. Monoceros. Yeah. Musca. Yeah. Norma. Octans. Yeah. Ophiacus. Orion. Yeah. Pavo. Yeah. Pegasus. Yeah. Perseus. Phoenix. Pictor. Pisces, yeah. Pisces Austrinus, Puppies, Pyxis, yeah. Reticulum, Beth has the best braids, Sagitta, Sagittarius, yeah. Scorpius, Sculptor, Scrotum, Serpens, Sextons, Taurus, Telescopium, Triangulum, Triangulum Austral, Tucana, Ursa Major, Ursa Minor, what is it? There's Vila. Vila, Virgo, Volans, Bopa Cule. I hope you're not too bored yet, because that's, that's, that's the hard parts out of the way. Now the real video starts. 88 constellations later. Let's <laughs> go. Gemini is one of the 12 constellations in the Zodiac family. Gemini is Latin for twins. It is one of the 48 constellations described by the second century astronomer Ptolemy that we've all love. It is located between Taurus, in between Taurus and Cancer on the elliptic. Its right ascension is seven hours, its declination is 20 degrees, and is best seen in February. The horoscope month is May 21st through June 20th. If you're born in these months, it means you're energetic, clever, imaginative, witty, and adaptable, just like myself. I'm born on June 6th. Taurus the Bull is the most prominent and visible out of all the 12 zodiac constellations. And it's the most earliest documented constellations dating back to the early Bronze Age. That's crazy! But the best, best time to view it is in January. The right ascension is 4 hours and the declination is 15 degrees. Best visible between latitudes 90 degrees and negative 65 degrees. The horoscope, if you are born through April 20th and May 20th, it means you are dependable, persistent, loyal, patient, and generous. Aries the Ram is only a mid-sized constellation, and it's not that bright. It's an ancient constellation 
but it wasn't recognized by the Union until 1922. Where to find it? Well, it's in between Pisces and Taurus. Its right ascension is three hours, declination is 20 degrees, and is best viewed December at nine o'clock. So we can go see it right now, but it's almost January. But the horoscope is March 21st through April 19th. It means you're independent, generous, optimistic, enthusiastic, and courageous. Pisces is a Latin plural for fish. It is the 14th largest constellation. But the stars are very faint, making it really hard for the human eye to see. It is located in the northern hemisphere and is most clearly visible in the start of autumn. Um, its right ascension is 0.85 hours and the declination is 11.08 degrees. It is best visible at 9 p.m. between the month through the days November 6th and November 9th. If you were born on February 19th through March 20th, you have this luckily Pisces horoscope. It means you're compassionate, accepting, adaptable, devoted, and imaginative. Libra is Latin for weighing scales. It is the only zodiac representing an inanimate object. It's located in the southern hemisphere between Scorpius and Virgo. Its ride ascension is 15.21 hours and its declination is 15.59 degrees. The best time to view the Libra constellation is at 9 p.m. in June. To be a Libra, you have to be born between the months of September 23rd and October 22nd. If you're a Libra, you're diplomatic, graceful, peaceful, idealistic, and hospitable. The Virgo is a congested constellation with 26 known exoplanets. It's the largest constellation of the zodiac and the second largest of the overall 88. It's viewed in the northern hemisphere during spring and summer, and it can be viewed in the southern hemisphere during autumn and winter. Its right ascension is 13 hours and its declination is zero degrees. It's best seen in May at nine o'clock. The days for the Virgo are August 23rd to September 22nd. Virgos are analytical, observant, helpful, reliable, and precise. Leo the Lion is the earliest recognized constellation. It's one of the few constellations that resembles its name. It's easy to find because the Big Dipper points directly at the Leo. It's visible in the Northern Hemisphere around the spring equinox. It lies between Cancer and Virgo. Its right ascension is 11 hours and its declination is 15 degrees. Leo the Lion is best seen in April at nine o'clock. To be a Leo, you should be born between July 23rd and August 22nd. Leos are confident, ambitious, generous, loyal, and encouraging. Cancer is Latin for crab. It's the dimmest of the 12 constellations. <laughs> it's between Leo and Gemini. It's visible in the Northern Hemisphere in early spring and in the Southern Hemisphere in autumn. The right ascension is nine hours and the declination is 20 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> it's best seen in March. <laughs> the horoscope <laughs> for cancer is just <laughs> it's June twenty first to July twenty second. <laughs> Cancers are loyal, dependable, caring, adaptable, and responsive. Oh. Today I'll be talking about Aquarius constellation. It's the oldest documented constellation, but it's not very bright. Like, tenth brightest on the low end. It's a spring constellation in the southern hemisphere and an autumn constellation in the northern hemisphere. And the name in Latin means water bearer or cup bearer. In its spot in the sky, you can find it by finding other water-related things like PCs, which means fish, or uh, the other things. I can't remember their names. The right ascension is 22.71 hours, and the declination is negative 10.19 degrees. Uh, you can find it in October at around 9 p.m., and for the zodiac stuff, 
It spans from January 21st to February 19th, and its traits are witty, clever, humanitarian, inventive, and original. Capricorn! My second of four! Capricorn is normally only referred to Capricorn when talking about the zodiac symbols. In terms of the actual constellation, it's Capricorn us, which means sea goat. It actually literally translates to goat horn. It's located in the southern hemisphere of the sky, and um, it's among the faintest of the constellations, being very dim. It sits in and among all of the uh, water sea section of the sky. The right ascension is 21.02 hours. The declination is negative 20, point, negative 20 to negative 23 degrees and is best viewed in September. The zodiac time is from December 22nd to January 19th and represents responsible, patient, resourceful, ambitious, and loyal people. Sagittarius, Scorpio, watch him twinkle, watch him glow. Watch him... No, Scorpio, you Andromeda. Artelia. <laughs> Andromeda. Antlia. <laughs> 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 a, a puss. Andromeda. Antlia. Apis. Aquarius. <laughs> Aquila. <laughs> <laughs>